Charlie, I hope you're well. So today's video is going to be my what I got for my birthday haul. It was my birthday on Saturday, just gone the 12th. This should be going up on Monday the 14th. And I can honestly say I had one of the best birthday weekends that I have had for such a long time. Um, on the Saturday, um, I saw lots of family and our, me and my mum went on a bit of a shopping trip and it was really nice and chilled. And then on Sunday, yesterday, I went to the cinema with my best friend, one of my best friends and her husband. And we went to see The Visit, which was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. Definitely one of my favourite movies that I've seen this year. It was so cool. Um, and yeah, it was just really lovely to actually do something for it. Like the last nine, ten years worth of birthdays because of my anxiety I've not really been able to celebrate or go out and do anything so this year it was really nice to actually mark it and it was fantastic and I had so many messages and cards and stuff from you guys which is just amazing so thank you so much to all of you that did that um, and if you left me uh, messages on Facebook and Instagram and that kind of thing I had so many I couldn't reply to everybody because it would just taken me ages but I read them all and I appreciate them all and I think I tried to like each one so you knew I'd read them. Um, so yeah, a huge thank you to all of you that did that. It was a really fantastic birthday. Just very quickly before I show you what I got, um, I do just want to say, as I say every time when I do a birthday or a Christmas haul, I'm not in any way doing this to show off. I would never do that. I know how lucky I am. And I just love sharing things with you guys and I like watching these videos when people do these birthday and Christmas hauls and stuff. So I presume that some of you guys must like watching them as well. I hope so. Apologies by the way if it keeps going dark and then light. The sun keeps going behind the cloud and then in front of it. I'll, I'm going to try and do most of it in the bright bits so hopefully it won't um, affect your viewing of it too much. So yeah. Without further ado, I'm going to show you what I got for my birthday. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to show you what I got for my birthday to start with. I'm going to show you um, some books that I received for review first, because they came in just after I did my September book haul, so I thought I would just throw them into this haul. So the first book I was sent from Mirror Inc., and this is Monster by C.J. Scoos. I'm currently reading this at the moment. Um, and this is about a girl called Nash, who is forced to spend the Christmas break at her boarding school with some other kids. Something very strange and spooky is going on there. I don't want to say too much because I haven't finished it yet and I'll do a review when I finished it. But, um, yeah, it's really, really good so far. It's got me out of my reading slump that I've been in, which is great. Horror is like the only thing that's getting me out of my slump at the moment. Um, and it's also a very, very cool cover. Um, so that's that one. The next one was sent to me from... Who was this sent to me by? I think it was Penguin Random House. Yeah, Penguin Random House. And this is Standoff by Andrew Smith. This is the sequel to Winger, which I read back in 2013 and absolutely loved. And to be honest, I didn't even know a sequel was coming out for this book, but I'm so excited to have it. And the covers match, which is always cool. Um, and in case you don't know, this book is told in part comic and part just normal novel. And it's really, really fantastic, the first book was. So I have no doubt I'm going to love this one as well. Then Simon and Schuster sent me Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway. Um, this is about two kids that used to be best friends, Emmy and Oliver, and then um, Oliver went missing, I think, and then he reappears and it's kind of about their relationship and how he's changed since he's been missing and it just sounds it sounds really really good and I read when it first came through I read like the first couple of chapters and it, it looks like it's gonna be really really good so that's that one. Penguin Random House also sent me The Accident Season by Maura Farrelly Doyle. I actually have an arc of this as well um, but this finished copy is just amazing and this is about a girl whose family have some sort of curse on them 
and every, I think it's October, for a month, lots of accidents seem to happen to them, like really bad accidents. Um, and it's supposed to be really dark, really creepy, really intense. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one, and it's quite short as well, so shouldn't take me too long. Penguin Random House also sent me Somebody I Used to Know by David Bell. Um, this is floppy, look, it's floppy. Um, this one I was actually sent a net galley of as well, and I started to read it, and then I got sidetracked reading something else and never went back to it. Um, and I didn't, act this wasn't actually requested, this just turned up, so I don't know if they know that I've got a net galley as well, I'm not sure. Um, but I definitely will pick this up at another time and carry on with it. It's got a little quote thing up here from Linwood Barclay, who, as you guys know, is one of my favourite authors. And this is about a guy who's in the grocery store one day and he sees this girl that looks exactly like an ex-girlfriend, except his ex-girlfriend died years earlier in um, a fire on their campus when they were at college. Um, and but he's like sure it's her so he goes to speak to this girl in the grocery store but when this girl sees him she becomes terrified and she just runs and then the next day the police knock at his door and they say that this girl's body has been found um she's been murdered in in her motel that she was staying at and inside her pocket was this guy's address so it's kind of about him finding out what's going on and who this person is and again it's another reason <clears throat> Bloomsbury sent me The Light That Gets Lost by Natasha Cartu. Oh, by the way, I should say that all of the books that I showed you um, are all out already. Um, so, yeah, this is The Light That Gets Lost by Natasha Cartu and or Carthew. And this is about a boy who is witness to his parents' murder. And then years later, he goes to this camp that is supposed to help troubled teenagers. But he's actually gone there for revenge because he knows the guy that did it is going to be there. So this one sounds really, really amazing. Super short. Um, and this one comes out in... Oh, um... The 5th of November? So a little while for this one yet, but it sounds really good, so I think it's going to be worth the wait. And then the last book that um, I have to show you that wasn't bought for me, I actually bought for myself. Um, and, oh my god, I need to breathe. I'm so excited to have this in my hands. It is The Dead House by Dawn Curtigish, and this is the US hardcover edition and it's so beautiful i just love it so so much this is the spine actually i should probably show you like that that's the spine that is the back um it's at the top here i am real i exist they won't kill me but the kill me is crossed off and it says send me away and it has a little thing on the back here from rl stein i mean what i love rl stein um so, yeah, this is so beautiful. I'm going to show you under the dust jacket as well. Look under the dust jacket. It's so amazing. I love this so. UK ARC, the UK finished paperback, and this one now. Um, these are like my most prized possession. And honestly, look at the inside, guys, seriously. Because this... Look at the inside, guys, seriously. Because this book is written. Um, it's all kind of documents and video transcripts um it's just oh my god i love it so much look at it it's so beautiful it's going straight into my october tbr um which you will be seeing a video for i know i don't usually do tbrs but for october i will be so keep an eye out for that and oh my god i love it so much so on to all the things that i was actually bought for my birthday the first few things were actually sent to me from my friend lee whose channel is the book station i'll put the link to it down below you can go and check it out he's brilliant um and he properly spoiled me so the first thing he sent me is this simon versus the homo sapiens agenda um bookmark and it is signed as well which is amazing i actually collect bookmarks so this is just going to be amazing um in my collection um then he sent me 
um, The Mindfulness Colouring Book by Emma Ferrons. Ferrons? There we go, look. Um, I love adult colouring books, as you guys know, and I didn't actually know there was mindfulness ones. This is super cool, and it's really small as well, which means I can just chuck it in my bag and take it anywhere I want to go with me. So that's super cool. Then he got me The Queen of the Tealing by Erica Johansson. This book has been on my wishes for a while, I've just never got around to buying it. But I have heard nothing but good things about it. So I'm really, really excited to see for myself what all the fuss is about with this one. And it's a really nice cover, I like this. And then the last thing that he sent me, and I literally can't believe he sent me this in a gorgeous hardback. I literally couldn't believe it. And this is The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. This is so beautiful. Again, this is another one that's been on my wish list for quite a while. Um, <clears throat> because it's a, a fairy tale retelling. And I'm a bit hit and miss with them. So I kept putting it off. But I'm so excited that I've got it in my hands now. It really is a beautiful book. Yeah, I'm really excited to get into this one. Thank you so much, Lee, for sending me all of these goodies. Oh, and he also got me sweets too, which I have already started to eat. But let's not mention that. Um, the next things I got from my nan, and I just bloody love them, they are these Converse, um, and these are in the burgundy colour, I hope you can see that, they are so beautiful, I love them, and I'm a bit addicted to Converse, I do own quite a few pairs, um, but these are just, oh, I love them so so much and they're just going to go with everything and they're going to be so perfect for the winter as well so that, those are those my sister got me oh by oh wonder the album and oh my god i'm obsessed with these at the moment search them on youtube and have a listen to them if you haven't already they're amazing and it's such kind of easy listening kind of music um and i think this is their debut album don't hold me to that but i'm pretty sure it is um and I've already listened to this and it's bloody fantastic. I love it. This is going to be on repeat for me now. Um, and my sister also got me Mail by Natalie Imbruglia. I'm a massive fan of Natalie Imbruglia. I just love her. I, I love all the stuff that she does. Um, and I don't really think she's talked about enough as a singer. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. My sister also got me a beautiful makeup brush set from You Spicy. They came in this little, uh, whoops, they came in this little gift box in here. I've already taken them out because I was tidying things up and then forgot I needed to show them in this haul. Um, so they came in this beautiful box. And I've got a couple here just to show you. So they look like this. Here we go, let me just come a bit closer to you. Um, and they are so soft like literally they are so so soft um and there was 10 brushes in this set and they are all so lovely i cannot wait to use these and my other nan as well as sending me some money she bought me some of uh, zoe sug aka zoella's super drug um range that she has out don't get me wrong like i'm not i'm not a massive fan of the whole YouTuber bringing tons of stuff out. But Zoe's range in Superdrug smells amazing. If you have chance to go and smell it, please do. Honestly, it is amazing. Um, so she got me the um, Soak Opera Bar Soak and Shower Cream, um, which is just, oh my god, it smells so good. Um, she got me the Fresh Fizz Fragranced Bath Fizzer, which looks like a chocolate bar. <laughs> um, it's amazing. Um, and yeah, you just pop this under the hot tap in your bath and it just produces loads of bubbles. Then she got me the Let's Spritz um, Body Mist. This is such a beautiful bottle. I just have to show you this. So beautiful. And this honestly smells so good and basically I wanted another perfume that I could use kind of daily because the one I'm using at the moment is Chance by Chanel which is so expensive that I didn't want to end up just using it all really quickly because I wouldn't be out again anymore um, so yeah I wanted just one I could use daily and this one 
it's just perfect. So that's that. And Dad got me this huge um, happy birthday lush gift set thing. I've taken everything out that was inside it already and put it away because it was all getting broken, like moving about in this box. But it does have what's in it on the back, so I'll show you that. I hope, really hope you can see this. Um, so it's got pop in the bath, which is a bubble bath. It's got some red fun, which you can use to wash your hair, um, wash your body, or you can just use like a Play-Doh in the bath. Um, then it's got Fizz Banger, which is a bath bomb. It's got Bright Side, which is another bubble bar. It's got Granny Takes a Dip, which is another bubble bar. Dragon's Egg, which is a bath bomb. I love that one. So I had this Happy Birthday banner, which I thought was super cool. That's downstairs hanging with my card. But yeah, I was chuffed with this. I'm obsessed with Lush um, at the moment. So I was really chuffed with this. Um, and it's a really nice tin as well. I feel like I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this. That's I got three books. Um, one was from my friend and two were from my mum and dad. So I'll start with the two that were from my mum and dad. The first one is The Lie Tree by Frances Hardinge. I hope I've said that right. Um, this sounds so good. It's so basically about a girl called Faith whose father is found dead um, under mysterious circumstances and she tries, she decides that she's going to investigate and find out what really happened and her investigations lead her back to this tree um, a tree that feeds off whispered lies and bears fruit that reveals hidden secrets it just sounds so good and the cover is really like dark and eerie and Oh, it just sounds amazing. I'm really excited for this one. I've heard a lot about her writing as well, so interested to see what the fuss is about. And then the other book they got me, and I'm so excited they got me this. I already have a proof of it, but this edition is just so beautiful. And that is The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. This is the limited edition one, um, and it's so beautiful. It's got yellow pages. Um, but the most cool thing about this is that it's actually signed by Patrick Ness. I mean, that is just amazing. Um, I don't know too much about this because I never got round to reading my proof of it. But I know a lot of people love it. And I know it's to do with <clears throat> the kids who aren't the chosen one. Um, and I just heard it's just a really amazing book. And I'm really excited again to see what all the fuss is about with this one. Now, my friend who just knows me too well, um, got me Username Evie by Joe Sugg. Joe Sugg is um, Zoe, Zoella's brother, um, who also makes YouTube videos. And I know there's me saying, oh, I don't really like, you know, YouTubers bring that loads of stuff, and I've showed you quite a few bits of theirs. But this is not just another YouTuber book. This is sorry about that I just knocked that this is a graphic novel so I couldn't pass this up it looks amazing it so reminds me of an old-fashioned comic it looks absolutely amazing this one and again I don't know a great deal about it but I think it's a lot to do with uh, the internet and stuff like that virtual reality um, so yeah, really excited for this one. From one of my friends, they got me Saga Volume 5. If you don't already know, which you should do by now if you've been watching my channel for a while, Saga is literally my favourite graphic novel series ever. It's just fantastic. And anyone that says that comics and graphic novels are for kids needs to pick this series up because this will prove you so wrong. Um, it's a fantastic story about two different um, kind of planets on the universe at war and oh, it's just so, so good and I literally cannot wait to get into this one and I know it's just going to be amazing just like all the others but I also know there's going to be another long wait until the next volume because there always is so I'm a bit worried about reading it too soon as well. And then my auntie bought me... Actually, no, this one's from my mum and dad. 
Um, and then my mum and dad also bought me Unfriended, which I've already watched and it's fantastic. It's about um, a group of friends. This is about a group of friends who are on like a Skype chat thing. Um, and then somebody joins their conversation, they have no idea who it is. At first they think it's like a glitch. But actually it's somebody who is out for vengeance on them because one of them, which you don't find out until right at the end, um, put up a video of this girl who was a bully at their school and it led to this girl committing suicide. So this person that has logged into their conversation wants revenge and they don't know who it is. Really, really good and I wasn't sure whether I'd like it or not because of the format. But it was great, it's done really well. And then my auntie also got me two DVDs and those are season two of The Following. This is about a serial killer and his kind of cult. Um, and I love this series, but I kind of, I got sidetracked and kind of went off the boil with it. But I'm just catching up now, so I'm really excited to delve into this. And um, James Purefoy that plays Joe, the serial killer, he is hot. Look, there he is there. But I hope you can see that. There we go, he's there. He's hot. He's the hottest serial killer I've ever seen. And I feel like that's really wrong to say about a serial killer, but he really is. Um, and the other one my auntie got me is Rock and Roller. Um, this isn't really usually my type of film, but at the moment I'm trying to get every movie that Tom Hardy is in. As you guys know, I love Tom Hardy. And I'm just going through this stage where I just want to have every single thing that he's in. And somebody told me that he's really, really, really sexy in this movie. I mean, he's sexy in everything, but I've heard that he's really, really sexy in this movie, and I've heard it's kind of quite funny. Um, and, yeah, so that's that one. It's also got Gerard Butler in it, who is also very gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. That is what I got for my birthday, as I say. And as you can see, I was completely spoiled. Um, but I just had the most wonderful time. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm really sorry that it's kept going dark and light throughout this. I really hope it hasn't caused too much of a distraction. Um, yeah, so I will see you all in my next video. Bye!